What's up, everyone? This is the Awesome Hangout Show. I am so sorry about the lighting today. For some reason, and the camera's moving, I don't have a tripod or anything, so... I don't have a tripod, I don't have lighting, so normally I record these videos in the day in admin today. If you've seen my video that I posted a few days ago about Excelsior Lager from Lidl, now we're going to do a, an experiment, a taste test. We're going to try the fake. We're going to try the real. And we're going to try the not so good alternative. Now this stuff is weak. And these are Diddy cans. These are small cans. So the first one we're going to try is the Bud Light. It's like, mm. see this lager is a little bit weak. It tastes weak, not much flavor. That's like shandy. I mean, you could probably get drunk off them if you drunk enough of them, but Yeah, it's not great. It's, mm, I don't know. Thing is, regular bud gives me a real bad uh, headache. So, I'd still choose it over that, not taste-wise. Taste-wise, standard bud is like way up there compared to this. It's not great. I think on a scale of one to 10, I'd give that a five maybe it's all right it's drinkable because a lot of the time it's the cheapest it's the only thing you can really go for right now i've just cracked open a can of fuzzy australia's greatest yet again it's a little bit more, it tastes a bit more, I could say yeasty, maybe. It's got a slight, slight kick to it. Um, but nothing compared to the premium lagers, or even Carling. Carling, at least it's got a smoothness to it that these don't really have. Um, it's not really my cup of tea, I mean... I'm not too sure. This has less flavor, but not much less flavor. Mm. It's not looking good, folks. So. Excelsior. I don't like opening three cans at once. It makes me feel like I'm... Like I've got to drink them all. Most of these I've already got chucked away. A lot more flavour in this. A lot more. This is 4% alcohol. The Excelsior is 4%. Foster's is... Um, one second. 4%, same. Bud Light is 35 So that's probably why 
Bud Light tastes the weakest because it's just not as much to it. But this one has the most flavour. It's kind of... Think of Carling, but it's got a bit of a bite to it. It has... Um, it does have a slight edge. It's, but it's also not as smooth as Carling. Carling is nice. Um, this is nice, but it's not... You know, not as good. So... My final word on this is... In third place... Bud Light. I don't want to place them here. Because they're open. And this is a... Um, footstool thing, but it moves. In second place... Uh, no, I'm not leaving that there. But... In first place... And I... I there is no... I'm not getting paid by little for this at all. Obviously, because I've got, like, no subscribe. Well, I've got, like, a small amount of subscribers. Which, for some reason, it seems like I mention it every single video now. But I'm not mentioning it anymore from now on. But, yeah. This is the stuff that you want. So that is my review. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time.